Hi, this is Ivan. Today I'm gonna talk about how to repair the connector of the tiny wood battery. It works for my LiPo and should work for other brands as well. So I think the major problem of this little battery is that um, after something like 30 cycles, you got much less fright time of the battery no matter how hard you try to take good care of it. Typical LiPo battery has definitely more than 100 cycles. So this is not really about the chemical in the battery, but most likely the tiny little connector. Let's take a look at the spec. First thing I want to say is that the connector is not from JST. It's actually more like speaker blade. I'll talk more about this at the end of the video. The more important thing here is the maximum mating cycles, which is 30. Yes, 30 cycles. So after 30 cycles, the maximum current rating is no longer better. This will make a lot of sense if you look close enough at the female terminal. The female mating section is extremely small. Imagine plucking and plucking the male terminal over and over again. There will be wear and tear, and the opening of the female mating section will just get loosened. And thus the contact resistance will go up dramatically. Now you may say you cannot measure any resistance with a multimeter. Let's do some quick math here. Now suppose we have 4 minutes of flight time with a new battery. And the FC cutoff voltage is 3.7 volt. At 3.7 volt, the battery is roughly 80% discharge, and we are talking about 164 milliamp hour here. The average current drawn by the drone is about 2.46 ampere. Now assume the contact resistance per terminal is 0.03 ohm. The voltage drop is as much as 0.15 volt, and the effective cutoff voltage is 3.85. So I'm guessing we all see the problem here. Before the repair, I want to show how much time I can get from this battery. I didn't do anything special. I just flew around my house at medium speed. As you can see, I can only get 1 minute and 20 seconds. And the battery voltage after the cutoff is right about 3.9 volts. We still have so much energy left in the battery. We're just not able to use it because of the voltage drop across the bad terminal. To start the repair, first we need to remove the red housing. The housing is glued by some silicone rubber. It shouldn't be too difficult to take it off. Just try a gentle rocking motion and be patient. Beware not to damage the battery terminal inside. Next, we want to remove the silicone rubber. I just used a tweezer, a needle, and my fingernail to remove it. It did take me quite some time. But again, just be patient and not to damage anything. Make sure there's no rubber residue on the solder joint. You don't really want to melt any rubber when you do the desoldering and soldering. Double check the soldering tip is hot enough before desoldering. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds or the heat will transfer to the battery. Always thin the tip and be very careful not to shut the terminals. This one is optional but I prefer to add some new solder to the joint. The flux in the solder core will also help the oxidizing the joint a little bit. Now use the old cable as a reference. Cut the new cable and strip the insulation. You might want the wire to be a little bit longer to make it easier when you solder the second terminal. To solder the wire to the pad, it's very helpful to put some flux on the conductor of the wire. This will make sure we have a good solder joint. Usually I will heat up the solder on the pad until the solder flows. Then attach the wire to the pad, hold it there for a second, and take away the soldering tip. If the wire is long enough, it shouldn't be too difficult to do the same thing for a second terminal. Always double check the solder joint, make sure it's smooth and shiny. Now it's time to refill some silicone rubber. Remember to use some electronic gray or neutral cure silicone rubber, otherwise it would damage the metal. Also, do not forget to reinsert the little black plastic support like I did. Finally, Align the red housing with the connector and the battery and put it back very carefully.
I also use some tape to hold everything in place before the rubber is fully cured. And after like an hour, I fully charged the battery. So let's see how much time we will get after the fix. As you can see, I did it with very similar style and speed. I just didn't want to crash it. The low voltage cutoff came right after about 4 minutes. Compared to the 1 minute and 20 seconds before the fix, I got my 2 minutes and 40 seconds back. This simple repair just totally restored my battery. I also verified the battery voltage right after the flight. As I expected, it's 3.7 for the new connector. So I guess now we understand how important is the battery connector. Unlike the XT or the DIN's connector, which are designed for high current and high mating cycles application, most of these tiny connectors have only 30 mating cycles. It's quite disappointing that all the small LiPo batteries use this connector, and so often that people can't use it anymore only because of the connector. I really hope someone will develop some better connector for small batteries. And also, it is wrong that many RC hobbyists call this a JST connector, but this is really not from JST. If you look up JST catalog, you will find they have four types of 1.25mm connectors, but none of them look like this one. If you are an electronic engineer, you may also find it interesting that RC people call this servo plug. Well, this is really the industrial standard 2.54 mm connector. It's just like when you hear people calling a USB cable like FC cable. One last thing, I think you can always get the Quim wires from eBay or Amazon. But if you want to make your own custom cables, I highly recommend you to buy from real electronic store like DigiKey or Mauser. These are the genuine products from JST or Molex. They are made in Japan and South Korea. They are just more high quality compared to the clones. Even better, they are cheaper. You can buy 30 of these 2 pin headers for less than $10. Alright, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care.